Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Paper Mario The Origami King. Well, here we are. I have finally uh, gotten my new graphics card, which hopefully should make the recording a bit more stable. And uh, I will have to do a bunch of editing on my side. I guess I can kind of explain basically what was happening, what has been happening with the Paper Mario series this entire time uh, up to this point. And also, yeah, I haven't forgotten. We gotta go back over here. And we gotta go grab our good friend, Bobby. So, uh, alright, so I got a new capture card. The, uh, capture card I got before, um, basically I had to use their proprietary recording, uh, program. If, uh, I wanted to record when I used that capture card, which that recording program sucked. And it made the audio and video, like, lag. So... I got that card and it didn't work, so I was like, well, shit. So, basically what I started doing was, um... I started syncing up the audio manually on, uh, every single episode, because basically my recording on Audacity would... desync from, uh, my recording in the, uh, game itself, because the game would drop frames and such. So, now with this new card, it shouldn't do that shouldn't, being the key word. I'm, I'm kind of jaded at this point because of how many issues I've had recording this particular game, so... Yeah, those issues should be fixed now. I have a very good graphics card now. One of the best ones you can get, actually. So, yeah. Now we should be able to record fine, and we shouldn't have any more issues with future console LPs, which is nice because uh, it's been a headache to get this one to work correctly, so fingers crossed everything comes out fine once I record this and all that. So, we gotta find out how to get up there. That, I was basically just running around, not really accomplishing much of anything while I gave my whole spiel there. We can't fall down that little pit that they go in. But there's like a... Hmm. Yeah, there's like a little... Um, warp pipe that we have to get into over there. Ow, ow, okay. All those things really messed me up when I was trying to get by there. Uh... Over here, please. Ow. Ow. I just keep bumping into these stupid things. Okay, there we go. So, if that's... How in the world are we supposed to get up there? Because there's a warp pipe. Yeah, you're saying help me, but... How is the question, Bobby? That is what I am asking myself currently. Let, let's ask Olivia. This place is dangerous. Poor Bobby, I'm starting to get worried. Also, I'm using headphones to actually listen to the game now. Uh... So I have these things in my ears, so the audio is actually going straight into my ears now, rather than me just listening to it from my computer. Because I'm actually recording the gameplay with OBS now. So that's a bit of a change as well. Okay, maybe I have to kill this Galoomba or something? And that opens something up? I didn't do horrible in that fight, you did horrible in that fight. I don't want to ever hear about this again. About how I got my ass kicked in that fight. Uh, okay, so that didn't really seem to do anything. I don't really see anything else, though. And there's this, but I don't think I can get up there. I could probably fall up there from the top. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe that's something. That could very well be something. Ugh! Yes! Okay, thank you. Wait, was that... Could I see the pipe from down... From up there when I was going past it? It might have just been slightly obscured, so I was missing it. But, uh, yeah, we got it now. Go away. Here's the regular Goomba. Come on down. Come on down, you little jerk. There we go. Why? Oh, jeez. Screwed up his voice again. Huh. There he goes again. Oh, this guy really, really likes getting messed up, huh? Is there anything else hiding in here? No. I mean, I did hit the tree multiple times. Alright, so did he go down there? Where did he end up? Bobby. bob -omb. Where? Where? Where did you go? I guess he could've- yeah, he-, he pro it looked like he probably fell down where the balls were rolling, but I don't think I can really get to that area. Yeah, I don't think I can. Huh. So where would he have gone now? So is there an area over here that potentially has, like, these things falling out? Yeah, here we go. Bobby's not up here. He couldn't have tumbled back this far, right? Uh... Is that telling me this is wrong, or... 
Is that telling me that I'm on the right track? I'm honestly not sure. She said he couldn't have tumbled back this far. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, I fell really far. <laughs> okay, I just spoke to Olivia because I searched that entire area again and he's not there. He's not over here, he's not over there. Don't tell me he managed to rush ahead of us again. I feel like that's a hint. There we go. What? God, that's, that's like, that's weird that he would be over here when he fell down that pit. I feel like they just wanted you to ask Olivia there, because it really seems like he went back the other way. But, whatever. Hi, nerds. I guess I'll show this fight, since it's like a weird story one. Okay, but there's just four enemies. Um, interesting. So we have three ring moves. Um... Hmm... I think I maybe see how to do this. Uh, yeah, let's pull you back there. Pull you here. Uh, no. No, that, that wasn't right. I, I think there was a way to do it where I could, like, push him back and then pull him back over here and get him in the right position, but... Uh, I think I screwed it up. I'm just really, really bad at these particular fights. And apparently my brain is just mush this episode because I've been, uh... Trying to get everything recording ready, anyway, so... In that, my, my brain is kind of just, just... Shit right now. I have all kinds of things just been constantly going through my head all day. Hoping that this particular recording, uh... Device would work. And it seems like it is so far, so... But, I mean, the best way to know is to... Check out the audio after I record, but I did a test recording and it was fine, although... I've had problems arise after test recordings before. Mmm, yum, yum. More chestnuts, please. You want more chestnuts after this shit? Ah, we searched high and low, fearing the worst, but he's been sleeping right by the exit. Let's show him how relieved we are by giving him an oh-so-gentle wake-up tap, Mario. I see you. I see you up there. How do I get you? I don't know, but I see you. You come down here, you little jerk. Got, gotcha. Go, come here. There we go. I must flutter. Okay. Go. Oh, cool. 100% of toads in Chestnut Valley. It's been a long time since we got 100% of toads for anything. Can I jump on him? No. Okay, I gotta smack him. Hmm? Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, that's... Okay, it's pointing to her, so I was a bit confused. Oh, hey, Big M. I found a shortcut after I tumbled downhill. Neat, huh? Took you two a minute to catch up. Guess I dozed off. Thank goodness. I'm just glad we won't have to go searching for you anymore, right? Now let's finally go visit the Water Elemental Shrine. Sounds good to me. Water Elemental, here we come. I can't tell if I'm even doing the voice correctly because, like, my own voice sounds different now that I have headphones in my ears. So, uh, I, I, I hope that's, um, the correct voice. Here's open. Definitely giving it the same sort of cadence, but I, I don't know. We'll see. It's not like the voice is super established yet anyway. Oh, no, go away. Okay. Whew. I did not want to get into a battle with that Goomba. So, we could heal up at that, but I don't think I really need to. Alright, let's actually try to make some progress now, damn it. Hey, you go... Hey. Die. There we go. Figures the fight uh, I actually did pretty well on and managed to get the puzzle to get the puzzle solution for was the one I didn't show. But uh yeah, you saw it there. Got the puzzle solution. Hip hip hooray. I'm not a complete idiot all of the time. Okay. Smash. What do we got? Resting place of the Lord of Liquids and Soaker Supreme. I see. Interesting name. Uh, we got a warp pipe up there. I wonder where that goes. There's also some cheap sheeps hanging out in the water over there. Maybe it goes to that treasure chest way back there. I also see you. Come here. Ew! Finally! I've been waiting to say this for ages, so listen up. You can turn battery-powered items on and off by pressing Y. Isn't that incredible? I've got to tell everyone. Wow, really? 
never knew that. Alright, let us go bob -omb. Uh, is this just the fast travel back to the beginning? Appears it is, but hey, there's a toad up here. Where are you? Another little dragon fry told me that you've been using the thousand-fold arms technique. That's so cool. Are they hard to control, though? If you don't like motion controls, you can turn them off under... Yeah, I've, I've already done that, believe me. That was one of the first things I looked for. I mean, I was trying to give it the benefit of the doubt at the beginning of the LP, but, uh... When I had to replay through the entire game, I was like, Yeah, nah, we're not, uh... We're not doing that. Hello. Okay, so will that toad beetle come back down if I get away from it? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, it's just thousand-fold arms. Gotcha. Oh, well, that was rude. Hey, Mario. Sorry I kept running away. I panicked. At least I learned that I'm pretty good at climbing walls. Yeah, at least you learned that, huh? Uh, how do we get that Kiki that keeps going up there, though? There's also this. I don't know what the deal with that Ukiki is, or how we get to it, per se. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know for now, but now I need to work on getting back to where I was. Uh, because that was a one-way drop, but it had stuff that I wanted in it, so I had to do it, so... Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and walk back over to the temple now. Luckily, it's not too long of a walk. I would cut here, but... I've already cut so much in this video, I don't I don't want to cut much more. I'm gonna give myself a ton of work in editing. It just cuts everywhere. Paper cuts, if you will, since we're playing Paper Mario. <laughs> yes, hilarious. Alright, so I guess we're going into the Velamental Temple now, assuming it doesn't stop us and say that we need like some sort of item to open the entrance or something. Uh, please don't hit me. Thank you. I appreciate it kindly. That you, uh, didn't let your bloodthirst get the better of you, Spiny. There's a toad over here trapped by a Origami King. I almost said seal, but no, it's just tape, isn't it? Oh, and we can't get it down from here. Mario's stubby little arms can't reach that far. So, up we go, up and at him. Do we just roll this rock off and it's... Oh, that, that just gives us a place to stand. Okay, that makes sense, actually. I don't know why I hit it with my hammer. Sexy toad pose. Phew, that rock almost took me out, but there's no way I'd let it beat me. What am I, scissors? <laughs> good old, uh, good old Rochambeau joke. All right, so, uh, nope, you're not, you're not hitting me. Well, okay, you, you definitely gave it your best shot, but it didn't work. How do we get up to that, I wonder? Oh, jeez. I wasn't even paying attention to the cheap cheap as it came on screen. <laughs> Alright, we'll show this battle. Okay, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still like, not totally decided on what to do about, um, like, uh, the battles like this. So... How am I going to get you guys lined up? I mean, this seems like a good way to do it. Oh, but you're, you're up there. Can I like pull you down one and then do you guys line up? No. The answer is no. Um. Oh, I think I see how I was supposed to do it. Oh, well. Yeah, it, it feels like a lot of the times you just have to see the solution at the very beginning or you're not going to get it. So, okay, you guys have assumed magic harp form now. I'm not sure what that entails. Maybe that means you can't attack me now? Be nice. Because I know the Galoombas, once you flip them over, they can't attack you. Which is always great. Bomb Bump is the name of his attack. Okay, nope, you guys still attack. That's just like your, your low health animation, I suppose. Ow, blocked way too early on that. Hmm. All right. Looking at this for two seconds already, I'm like, huh. What do I got to do here? Uh. Hmm. I mean, that's that's not ideal. Uh. 
I mean, I could turn you over here. And then... Pull you guys down here? But then that just leaves that one random cheap cheap over there. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting worse at these. They're probably just getting harder, though. I mean, it might just not be in the mi right mind space right now for them. Because I feel like sometimes I do better than others. It also helps, obviously, if I'm not talking over it, but... Yeah. I mean, if I was playing the game on my own time, I wouldn't stress as much, and obviously I wouldn't have to talk, so it'd be a bit easier. But, uh, since I am recording it, it adds a bit more difficulty in that regard. Alright, coins, 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 and confetti. Um, so what I wanted to check was I just wanted to make sure there was no way to kind of jump down to the- Okay, there we go, yeah. There's a little path that leads us over here to this treasure. Collectible treasure number 32, confetti bag. Thank you. Ooh, don't don't fall off, Mario. Don't do this to me. Alright, and down we go. I guess we can hit the save point again just to be safe. Just to be safe. Uh nope. Please don't please don't hit me, cheap cheeps. Oh aha, I found you. Come here. I actually didn't see that toad at all. I just happened to see him jump up here and I'm like, ooh, I didn't see him in the water. Oh, thank you. Are we outside the Water Elemental Shrine? People say the shrine is home to a massive, terrifying water spirit, but people say a lot of things. I agree. People do like to uh, exaggerate their stories. We made it to the Water, water Elemental Shrine. Hooray! Now we can finally meet the Water Elemental. This definitely looks like the shrine's front door, but how do we open it? Um, I'm thinking we gotta get our good friend bob -omb to go stand on that other switch over there. Hey. Go stands. Okay, now the blood let us do it. Oh, I think I've got it, Mario. I bet you press both switches at the same time. That has to be it, right? Wow, I'm cute and clever. Wait, no, I'm floating, so I can't press down on the switch. Bobby, you have feet. Come put those things to good use. I mean, you have feet too, don't you? You just don't use them. You don't walk on them. So you probably have no muscles down there. Who even knows if you could stand? Yes, we did it. Now we can go into the shrine. Bobby, aren't you coming into the shrine with us? Who, me? Uh, I'm uh, pretty wiped out after pressing that switch. Yeah, that's it. Definitely not scared to wander into a dark, dank shrine full of traps and monsters. Nope. So yeah, I'm gonna set this one out, but say hi to the water elemental for me. It sounds wet and horrible. I'm just gonna say it. Yep, so we don't get to bring you in the boss fights, as I guessed earlier. Ooh, look at this Zelda dungeon. Water of Elemental Shrine. Check out that stone dragon in the back. Is that the Water of Elemental? Ooh, Bobby's really missing out. Is he really, though? Okay, he kinda is. This place does look pretty cool, let's be honest. And the music's pretty good, too. Alright, what's down here? Ooh, I see you, Toad. No, you will come to me, and you will sit in my group of fans in every battle and cheer for me. Use your precious confetti supply to save little old me? Shucks. By the way, throwing confetti that lands outside of a not-bottomless hole won't vanish, so don't worry about wasting it. Okay, that's an interesting little tip, although I think I've just kind of passively assumed that or picked it up, as it were. Alrighty, hello, hello. Oh, it's a crab. That is a new enemy. Definitely don't think I've ever seen one of you guys before. Smack. They never saw it coming. <laughs> is, I wonder if that's a Persona joke. Okay, is the game just... Is the game just insulting my intelligence now with this? Is the game just insulting my intelligence now? Because... I'm not insulted because I'm happy that it's easy. <laughs> I should be insulted, but you know what? Oh wait, are they gonna clip me? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That was my bad. I realized it as I pressed the jump button. Ooh, and they do seven damage. Okay, well... Yep, the game, uh... The game succeeded in insulting my intelligence because I managed to screw it up anyway. It baited me with the super easy puzzle, and then I fell for the obvious trick of... Yes, of course they're spiked enemies. They have pincers pointing towards the air. There you go. 
Oh, jerks. All right. Well played, Paper Mario the Origami King. You got me. Well played indeed. Wonder if I'm just gonna, like, not have enough money for some things at some point, because I just never get the puzzle solutions on anything. Shiny iron boots. Stronger and shinier than your regular iron boots. You don't say. It's there in the name. Uh, hi. Oop, he just kind of ran into me. I was trying to smack my hammer, but I couldn't in time. Uh, oh. That was weird. Seeing those Koopa Troopas from the back, I thought they were a different enemy. Huh, okay. We have two ring moves. Does this work for you? Yes, it does. And that should also work for you. Yes. Hooray! It's like the fights get easier once you go into a, um, actual main story dungeon. Because these random battles are easy, but the ones outside were giving me quite a bit of difficulty, actually. At least I actually have my shiny equipment equipped this time for the inevitable boss fight that we're gonna have at the end of this. Puzzle completion, and no damage. Look at me. Come on, fill in. There we go. I'm not gonna fight that other- Ooh. Okay, you snuck up on me. Jeez. And you're blue? You're a rare blue crab. What does that mean? Um, hmm. Okay, I think, yeah. We pull you down, then we move you there. Alright. Okay, I, I, I do think they're just getting easier, to be fair, but um, I'm at least doing better on these than I was the uh, enemies that we were fighting at the beginning of the episode, so I'm happy about that, at least. I don't care if it's... I don't care if it's making me feel better by the game taking pity on me. <laughs> it still makes me feel better, damn it. Uh, yep, I screwed that up. Was a bit too late on that. Ow. 12 damage, jeez. Okay, do we have two? Yeah, so... Mm. Hmm. What do we actually do here? Huh. Because if I... If I move this... All of this is gonna get all this skew. If I do this... We still need that other one over here. And... Hmm. Yeah, I'm once again not seeing it. It, it's, it feels bad because it's, so, it's such a simple little setup, but I just don't see how to get him over there. Man, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe playing this was a bad idea. I'm showcasing to people watching, which there are a fair few, uh, just how bad I am at puzzles. Specifically ones like this. Like, just straight up kind of line everything up like bejeweled kind of puzzles, or whatever, what have you, Tetris puzzles, stuff like that. I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. I feel like I'm better at, like, thinking outside the box puzzles, like adventure games and stuff. So maybe this just isn't where my strength lies, but it's a Paper Mario game. I'm gonna play it, damn it, if I get the option. So, okay, what is this? Uh, a slide puzzle? Okay, I do have experience with slide puzzles, so we move that, that, there, and I think we need to move you there. Uh, maybe not, actually. We can't turn them, I'm guessing, right? Because, yeah, what we need to have happen is... Okay, so I'm thinking you actually have to be right there. And then I'm thinking... Hmm. Because you're the only way that this pipe can connect and actually make sense. But I can't have you down here because then you just leave it, lead it off the edge. What in the world is this thing? You probably have to put a thing in a thing and do some other thing to something else. But I have no idea where to start. Can we potentially move them around here? Or turn them here, because it doesn't look like it's actually solvable right now. Hi, you little crab jerk. Yeah, is there a way to... Move the tiles around, I wonder. There's like water right there that we can interact with. Or it looks like water will come out of there at some point. 
But yeah, it doesn't look like we can really interact with the tiles themselves in any way. But I wasn't seeing a solution. But maybe there's just so little pieces that I'm just not seeing it or something. Let's see. Wow, this is going to end up being a very, very long recording session, actually. So, and Olivia said something at the end there. Maybe we just can't do this yet. Wait, what is this? Aha? Uh -huh. Something of interest, maybe? Just evade all of you if we can. Oh, wait, what is that? What did you just have? Where are you? I see you. The blue one was, like, carrying something weird. There it is. Okay, yeah, that's that's the other piece we need. I guess. Or we can probably swap a piece out. So that the puzzle actually works. You little jerk. Oh my god. How are we supposed to... He moves so fast. And he's never, like, near me when he comes out. It looks like biding our time here isn't really working either. I might just have to take out the enemies and then he just doesn't have a lot of options. Yeah, he's very, very fast. Okay. Okay, that's one of the crabs down, so... I still don't see how that helps me catch this one though. Oh, that was so close. I feel like I could have almost gotten them there. Yeah, it's like, it's like when you walk across the screen, like when you go to one side of the screen, he comes out of the other one every time. So I'm thinking maybe if I take all the crabs out, something will maybe happen. Alright, didn't do very well in that fight, but... Oh well, there's another crab now. I guess another potential solution would be grabbing them with the, uh... Gloves? Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw that shadow up there. But I was like, well, well, how am I going to get to something that high? Like, I'm not going to be able to get to something that high. But yeah, all I had to do was hit the wall and it came down. It looked like something I would need, like, a higher jump for or something. But yeah, I should have tried hitting the wall, I suppose. All right, so here I'm using uh, what what somebody mentioned. I can actually equip new things in, in battle because I need some iron boots to hit these crabs. And uh, I went ahead and equipped them in the middle of the fight. So now we know how to do that, which is useful. And I'm gonna... S 25 damage? Jesus. <clears throat> okay, I should probably not use those if I can help it. They're incredibly powerful. Okay, well, now I imagine what we have to do is we have to hit the power block. So, let's see if he comes out. Pal? Okay, there he is, but... Yeah, so... I think what needs to happen is I need to... Kind of run back over here. Like, I need to bait him into coming out. And then... Yeah. Boom. Gotcha. Where you little jerk? Hmm, now you're dead. Mario is pissed. <laughs> and guess what? You're an enemy that Olivia told me I had to kill. There was no way to save you. So guess what? Peace was never an option. Um... Hmm. What do we need to do here? Uh, there's this. We could do that, but... What can we do with you two? Not much is the answer. Hmm. No, I don't want to flee the fight. Uh... Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing one here either. Jesus, I'm so bad at this. I'm just so bad. Like, the three move ones in particular always screw me up, because I just can't think that far ahead in the time that they give me. Hmm. And it's probably so easy to, uh, see when you're, like, viewing the video and everything. I'm sure I'll even- like, usually what happens when I'm editing these is I usually see the move I was supposed to make while I'm editing, and I'm like, oh man, but in the moment it's just so hard to pull off. Like, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Flipped over can't move. Oh. Okay, so you guys are like, uh, Koopas. Okay, maybe that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Let's see. Because, alright, so you can be moved there, you can be moved there, but you're a problem. You're a problem. Because if I move you back there, I, can't, I don't have enough moves to move you to that particular space. 
Oh yeah, and I can just regular jump on you guys now, huh? Because your claws are facing down. Wait, that didn't kill you? Oh yeah, they weren't actually harmed. They were just flipped over since the beginning of the fight. That makes sense, actually. Wait, did you just change into a blue one? That's weird. Okay. Hmm. So, once again, three moves. Okay, this one, at least I actually see the solution to. There. Man. Yeah. I didn't expect the puzzles in this to actually give me as hard a time as they are, but... No, oh, it's giving me a fairly hard amount of time. I guess that's why they have the little practice thing in there. Oh, wow, you lived. Come on. You little jerk. Just just give me the piece I need and let me be on my way. And you won't have to die. Come on, we all win in that scenario, right? Slap. Okay, my chump change as a reward, but I got this at least. There we go. Groovy panel. Shrine panel stolen by a sidestepper. Put it back where it goes. What do you think this thing is? Haven't we seen something squarish like this nearby? Kind of panel-y? Hmm, where was it? Yeah, I know. It was in the next room, Olivia. I got you. Let's break this just in case something happens. No. Alright, I just wanted to see. Neat that they have a pal block in, though. Okay, so... Do we... Deposit you in here, I guess? Oh, of course, that tile we picked up is a perfect fit for this thing. Alright, put it in. See? Just the right size. Let's see if we can slip this tile in as, a, as that last step. Okay, cool. Now this is, like, solvable, basically. It just wasn't- it just straight up wasn't solvable before, so bam. There we go. Okay, so that's- that was way simpler than I was making it out to be. I was just trying to find a solution where there wasn't one. But hey. We got there. We did it. So much of this video is going to have to be cut out. <laughs> we did it! Look at all that water! Where do you think it goes? Probably through that grate to this room over here. Ooh. Ooh. Gimme gimme. It's a lot of money and a fire flower. Thank you, thank you. I don't find many instances where I, I would want to use a fire flower, but it is useful nonetheless. Alright, so the recording session is looking at about 45 minutes now, so I do think we're going to walk back over here and hit up the old save point in the main room over here. Uh, has anything changed? Yeah, the bucket's being filled over there. Or goblet? Yeah, goblet. Okay, so we got to do that to both gob uh, goblets, and then we can open our way to the boss, I assume. Oh no, is this the water temple? Please no. Ooh, the water elemental's mouth is half open now. It looks kind of shocked. Must be amazed that we solved that super hard tile puzzle. I mean, don't 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 patronize me, Olivia. <laughs> Please, I don't enjoy it. Okay. Wow, check out those fangs. I can't wait to see how cool the statue looks when his mouth is wide open. I just came over here for the save point, lady. Boom. Alright. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, episode of Paper Mario the Origami King, and hopefully the recording came out much better this time. So, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.